Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. So okay, okay, okay. So many things. So many things. Check one, check one, check, <laughs> check one. <laughs> <laughs> okay what's, what's up, up everyone, everyone? Hello. hello all right let's just dive right in first of all yes this is nick miller we forgot <laughs> to introduce you but some of you have spotted him in the tiktok yeah. nick miller addition to the family yes yeah the wall of faces i love, I love him so good someone was like I'm so confused because I only listen. Is this a, the face between them? It's not the normal face, and it was our grandma. <laughs> like, we're so confused. Yeah, I on um the family history one. Yeah. I'm I put who I thought looked like everyone, and so our great grandma Beatrice I put on Sierra, and our great grandpa Ellis I put on me, <laughs> and then our grandma Jean I put on uh, Lucy Ball. To be fair. Uh, very accurate. I, that's Honestly, what I'm saying. I didn't even notice that it was there. It's Remember, you had, to, you had to point it out I to did. me. I did. I was like, wow. little you Easter egg. Even. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Thanks. Um, Too much time on my hands. <laughs> speak, well, it's all right. Yeah. Speaking of, Beatrice, did okay. you know, were you there when you heard, we just had a little get together, family get together thing. Um, and my dad, did you hear what he was saying about her and him? That she was like four foot nine. Yes. And he was like six three. Yes. <laughs> or maybe he said like six ten or something. Okay. He said he, he said he was he exaggerated. He was like, he was six nine. And then he's like, maybe he was maybe he was six three. And we're like, that's a huge difference. And he goes, She was she was four ten. And I'm like, seriously? And he goes, Well, maybe four twelve. And I go, That's five foot. Well, he said four seven at first. And we were like, that's a very small person. I feel like we can't trust any of those numbers that he said. No. My dad's very much like me. We're we're not liars. We are huge exaggerators. <laughs> so Which honestly is kind of just a huge exaggeration about you being a liar <laughs> <laughs> okay fair to be fair i don't mean to be a liar 90 percent of the times i just forget <laughs> so yeah, like, you just approach it with confidence yeah. you want to hear some shane am i allowed to tell this story about the um appendix i'm gonna say yeah if all right can't, we'll cut so it. speaking of like saying things with confidence and not realizing you're a liar <laughs> so we were talking about appendixes mm -hmm. because Shane, appendi. appendi Shane randomly was like, I'll get my append. Oh, we were talking about hysterectomies. That's what yeah, we we're okay. talking about. Okay. And my Randy, my youngest sister was like, I can't believe that people just like get body parts removed, like yeah. just organs like removed. Your and yeah. Shit. My and mom's got her appendix out. I said I would get my, I would get a hysterectomy, just yeah. like take her out. Um, I think that fucks with your... It definitely does fuck with your hormones. It yeah. throws you into menopause, I think. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I probably would once it happened, but yeah. in my mind now, grass is greener yeah. kind of situation. But Shane's like, I'll get my appendix removed. I'll do it like right now. Like it was a tattoo. I'm like, you're just going to go <laughs> fucking get a massive surgery? Okay. Um, And I said, why would you get your appendix removed? And he's like, because yeah. you don't need it. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't not need it. Like yeah. it obviously served a purpose at some point right and he's like uh people are born without appendixes now we've evolved out of it what it used to do it doesn't do anymore and i'm like well what did it used to do and he goes digest bones and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> it digested bones and he's like yeah and of course me i'm like cannibals yeah we used to be cannibals and Cave randy's like eating. there are animals bones and i'm like oh <laughs> that's not what i was thinking about and so i'm like oh my god like we have evolved so much mm -hmm. and then he goes yeah there's some people who are born without their appendix now because it doesn't need to digest bones and i'm like are you fucking serious and he's like yeah i looked it up wrong 100 percent wrong 100 percent wrong that. now like one out of a hundred thousand people are born without an appendix yeah but your appendix um doesn't digest <laughs> was never meant to digest bones and i have no idea where he got this information but he was it up. fully dead wrong and i was all in with this i'm like god damn that's so dangerous that's the danger is there that somebody will be blindly confident and wrong and you'll hear it and repeat I was, it i was just talking about this because i was talking about a friend of mine <laughs> okay to Corey, who listens to their husband uh-huh. Who is wrong often. <laughs> okay. And I am somebody who, if I hear something and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Corey was well, just telling me. That. He, he said, it's 
<laughs> somewhat annoying, but also one of my favorite things about you because he'll do it and I'll call him out immediately. I'm like, I don't think that's right. And he's like, Google it. And I'm like, I will. <laughs> I'm going bet. to. And normally I'm like, you were 100% wrong. <laughs> yeah. But my friend mm-hmm. doesn't do that. And so then she'll come to me and be like, did you You're know? You're never going to fucking yeah. guess. Yeah. Or I'll say like, hey, this is wrong with my car or whatever. Yeah. She'll be like, oh, that's because this. <laughs> yeah. So and so told me. And I'm like, really? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. The math's not math. So then I Google it in front of them and it's wrong. <laughs> And, and I'm like, the internet's a liar see? automatically. Yeah, and then they get like so defensive and mean, and I'm yep. like, what? Well, what? I'm not. I'm just the bringer of truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do I look like? Guess what? We all have this pocket thing in our pockets. Is a pocket, <laughs> pocket truth thing in our pockets? <laughs> and Let you me just... pull out my pocket truth teller. <laughs> you pull out a magic eight ball and you just shake it. And Is like, this true? Mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Ask again later. <laughs> Seems so. <laughs> I used to believe those things were 100% correct. Well, yeah, because they tell the future. That, that's still <laughs> science. <laughs> I know. Honestly? So. Honestly, how is it not? No, that's what I'm saying. I, I fully believe that. I think it's like connected to the planets. Yeah. Or uh, the Elks. What's that? In, uh, the <laughs> you said the Elks, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> probably also the Elks. <laughs> um, no, what's the Upside Down? Stranger Things. Oh. I'm watching it. It's good. episode five it is fucking oh, it's good. good. Let me tell you, I didn't expect it to be that fucking scary. I know. First episode, it, yeah. the end of it, I was like, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. That was bad. That was hard the to fuck watch. Out of me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of shitting myself. Oh, you want me to talk about pooping myself? <laughs> well, no, but I have another ass story. If you don't, <gasps> you do. I do have an ass story. Oh, I just posted about it. You did. Yeah. I, I it. sent you the TikTok. Oh, I was getting you ready. Didn't probably watch, no. Yesterday. Yesterday. That you, you, that you did. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So I thought you meant another one. I was like, there's another no, 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 story. No. So I had gone 65 days without pooping my pants. So proud of you. I counted. So, honestly, a long time. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and we got pizza yesterday from Pangrazio's. Mm. And I'm standing in the kitchen just like eating. And Shane starts to talk to me. And I go, I cannot. I can't right now. And I just stay very still. And I was, I thought I was about to liquid shit. And I was like, I just got to stand here. I have to clench. I have to focus all of my attention on making sure the tectonic plates that are my ass stay (laughs) touching. Together. The whole does it. (laughs) Yeah. So I, um, go to the bathroom very methodically mm-hmm. and turns out it had already gotten out so <laughs> i did all of that work <laughs> for no fucking reason i literally I pulled my pants out like oh <laughs> <laughs> fucking pooped <laughs> I pooped again i didn't think i did but i did wow I our two did. ass stories are so incredibly us and i'll <laughs> i just need you to know that okay because the diff then mine is so here's something i just that- remember when you were telling a story about a week ago and you just like farted mid speech <laughs> And you're like, I'm so sorry, I farted. And then continued on like you didn't just pass gas. There was a really weird couple days, and Corey will attest to this, where like I couldn't help it. And I it was like IBS havers. You know what I'm talking about. Like it was just leaking out and like there was no warning. Normally I can clench and like hold it. It was just like coming wow. out and I wouldn't know that I farted until it was out. And then I'd be like, I farted. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I don't want to give you a complex. That happened to my grandma when she had cancer. So great. <laughs> When she had pancreatic cancer, she'd be buttering my toast and she'd just be ripping ass and she'd go, so sorry, grandma can't help it. Oh, wait, was it after she knew she had cancer? Yes. It was probably her medication. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Okay, cool. So I'm like, it's not the cancer, right? <laughs> I don't okay. think so. It might be. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whoa. She's still going to do some Googling later. I definitely am. That's the only time Sierra doesn't believe. Don't worry, everyone on the, the internet will tell me. I was going to say, that's the only time Sierra doesn't believe the pocket truth teller no. is when it tells her she's fine. <laughs> no, then I'm like, that's not true. Hold on. Let me find four other websites to say you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Because I can. Okay. So what I don't know, I know Patreon knows, um, or at least the people that were there for the live, but everybody else might not know. I have been, I've saved up. It's something I've always wanted to do. I've been getting laser hair removal. Uh We've talked about how my hair is not only a huge insecurity of mine, but also it hurts. Like when it grows in, it hurts. Um, It's just really the texture. It makes, anytime I shave, I get horrible razor burn. Mm -hmm. It's just not 
fun. So this is something I've wanted forever. I'm on my third like treatment yep. of it. So I'm getting it done my second time. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting it everywhere. Because <laughs> you can get a group on <laughs> and then you can bundle your deals. And yeah. I'm just saying, bundle your shit. It's a good way yeah. to go. So because of that, I'm getting everywhere. They're like, where do you want me to hit next? I'm like, wherever you fucking see fit, friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, whatever. Let the laser be your guide. <laughs> yeah. So she's doing my, uh, you know. Another region? Front. <laughs> yes. Your front facing lady? <laughs> yes. Okay. And she's like, you want me to hit the butt? And I was like, yeah, might as well. I'm all right, You're down there. But I-, I thought she meant like the cheeks. <laughs> Did you think she was going to just give you a little pat of encouragement? <laughs> no, I thought she was going to just like run it over my cheeks. because You I have- carry butt cheeks? Yes. Yes. And I- there was a debate about this. They're like, people shave their butt cheeks? Yeah, I grow hair literally everywhere. So I thought she did it on my belly. <laughs> I'm like wanting to look at my ass now. You probably have hair. We all do. But most people's is so fine and like, like, yeah, you have very soft fucking white hair <laughs> you. on your body. Thank you. Mine. I started shaving my face. That's exactly how I describe yeah. the hair on my face. Yes. Okay. Well, that's, but mine's on my ass and okay. it is black. <laughs> Okay. It is still soft, but you can see it. Yeah. So I shave it because I have very pale skin. Okay. Uh huh. She's like, "Want me to hit your butt?" I'm like, "Definitely." She means the insides, <laughs> the crackola. No. So my second treatment, she just hits it. I'm like, "This is terrible," but they give me a uh, laughing gas. So I'm they give you laughing. Oh, gas? I'm huffing on that shit the whole time, and the whole time she's like, "It doesn't make it hurt any less. You just don't care." <laughs> <laughs> and she's right because I'm huffing on it, and then I'm like, "I'll be back. <laughs> I'll see you in two minutes or however long." Okay. So I'm doing that, and I'm like, "Wait, Go did ahead. they give it to you only when they're doing your ass?" They, no, the whole time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "We're gonna get your asshole now. You're gonna want this. <laughs> Hand you the mask." But she does tell you. She's like, "You, I'm gonna give you a, a minute to take some breaths because this is the." Like you're that you're getting a laser on your taint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part hurts. So she does it. It's fine. Whatever. I'm like, great, thanks. So like two weeks ago was my third treatment, but the uh-huh. second time she hits my crack. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's like, you ready for the butt? Go ahead and sit up. So I'm sitting number two for the number two, if you will. I'm doing it <laughs> animal style. Uh-huh. That's basically how I'm okay. how I'm straddled on this chair. Just go into town with this laughing gas because I don't want to be here for this. <laughs> and she goes over it, and I was like, ooh, that hurt. Like a pinch harder than it normally is, but I just thought that's a sensitive area. We go about our time, whatever. As I am get home later, I'm like, oh, that still, like, hurts in that little area. It, like, got me good. Yeah. Um. So I take out a mirror, mm-hmm. and there's, like, a bubble there. <gasps> I, it burnt my ass crack <laughs> oh yeah and then the bubble bursts <gasps> yeah while you're watching because it? it's a burn no. <laughs> <That was> incredible <laughs> just i think throughout the day while my cheeks were clapping together you know what i'm saying it just yes. friction happened the burn bubble burst and then Corey, who is a nurse is like you're gonna get an infection That's how oh my happens. god don't you even act like he's nuts because you did that to me <laughs> you said i was gonna lose my arm and guess what she's here it was green <laughs> she does have a scar okay but so he's like show me it i need to know for nurse for nurse reasons and i was like <laughs> i can't show you it that's my asshole <laughs> It's very close to my butthole. Okay. And he's like, come on. I've seen it. Sierra, I've seen it. <laughs> I was like, right. no, I can't. And he's like, well, go take a picture of it. And I'm like, okay. So I go in Why? the bathroom. Why is that better? I, because then I can zoom in and just see the mark and not the hole. So- <laughs> okay. So I, I love where your face is because you're going to like where this goes. Oh, no. So... <laughs> I take it. I take the picture. Yep. I zoom in. Yep. It's just the part. He's like, oh, that doesn't look good. Let's put some Diosporin on it. He gives me a little treatment plan. I'm like, great. So it's all good. Um, But it is the whole picture. You could see a lot. But I did just zoom in for him to see uh-huh. that part. Anyways, I forget I have the picture on my phone. Oh, no. So oh, no. then <laughs> Noah's dad messages <gasps> me. Oh, no. And he asks me for a screen. <laughs> no, did you send him this picture? 
<laughs> I almost did. Oh, you did. I just clicked it and it came up the preview like the picture was going to send. And oh. I was like, ah! <laughs> so my vagina and, and my butthole. burn butthole. <laughs> so I clicked it out. And I almost also did it to you. <laughs> to me? <laughs> oh, I wish you would have. So then I finally had to get rid of the picture. I did take a new one today if you want to see how it's healing. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'd love to, honestly. Corey makes me show him pictures every day. If you want to know how much that man loves me, he is like, show me pictures. I want to see how it's healing. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Uh, is that how much he loves you or how much he loves being a nurse? <laughs> he loves just assholes. In <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. Like, Come on, let me see it. I want to see it wound. Wow. Yeah. What's so... that wound do? <laughs> <laughs> it is healing. Healing. But, but in a really. Wow. It does take a long time because, okay, then I went to Cleveland, everybody. I was in Cleveland mm-hmm. for like two, uh, two days, three nights. Uh-huh. And just because we wanted to go up. <laughs> Normally, that's not how that works. <laughs> we went up Tuesday night, okay. stayed the night, okay. then stayed the full day, and then we left Thursday day mm. after the museum. So we went to the zoo. I thought the, you got back today. No. We were going to, but then, oh. dude, the hotel room was like so freaking hot. And I told you, I don't I, do hotels anymore. I know. But, but the Airbnb we went to was not okay, much better. Okay, we got catfished with that one. We did. How about the one in I got catfished. freaking LA? No, that was nice. That okay. was fucking great. I, we got catfished with this hotel room because the pictures <sighs> were beautiful. And then I got in there and I was like, mm, hold, on, <laughs> hold on a second. Yeah. So um, where was I going with that story? You were in Cleveland. I don't Something know. Something about your ass. How's it healing? Oh, just because we went to, uh, we, we did a lot of walking. Yep. Oh. And so <laughs> it's taking some time. Yeah. To Friction heal. and sweat. And, yeah. Yeah. In my cheeks. So, anyways, yeah. that hurts. A fun story about while I was in Cleveland. Okay. We went to Barrio. Yes. Taco place. Yes. I fucking love that place. It's the anytime, best because you don't have to talk to anyone. You yes, just fill you just, it out. That's my favorite thing. Yep. So anytime I'm there, I make whoever goes to Cleveland with me go to that place. I'm yeah. like, you're going to fucking love it. And it was within walking distance of oh, our fun. hotel. So, of course, my ass was already rubbed raw. Yeah, you're so like, what's walked. a taco? <laughs> yeah. So we ro- wa- rocked. <laughs> we rocked around that Christmas tree. <laughs> and we sure did. And we had been at the zoo all day, walking around. I was sweaty and not looking my best. And the guy comes up and he goes, how you doing, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'll take that. <laughs> That's fair. That's Were a you fair wearing assessment. like a hat or anything? Nope. I had my hair in a bun on the top of my head in a tank top. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. He walked away and I go, do you say fellas? And Corey goes, he said fellas. <laughs> Do you think he walked away and was, was like, like, did ah, I just say Phil? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he did. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Well, yeah. can I tell you a little something? Please. I shot a wedding mm-hmm. on Saturday, which you know because um, Liz, if you're listening, Liz um, and I connected. Liz is oh a God, listener. She's so fun. Yeah, She walked so out. Fun. I was the first person, I guess, she recognized at the wedding. That's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I know. She walked out and she goes, Jerry? <laughs> You're and like, I'm like, yeah. And she goes, ladies and tangents. Thank <laughs> God. Because I have to tell you, if any of you see us in public, that's a thing that like terrifies me to this day. And here, if you don't tell me you know yeah. me through the podcast, I'm going to pretend like I do know who you are. <laughs> yeah, because I'm scared that I forgot you and <laughs> yeah. I feel really bad about it. Yep. So I'll just be like, how's the kid? Or, <laughs> yeah. or not. Yeah. And then she she's like, how's your hole? And I'm like, honestly, it's it's great. She should ask me about mine. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, everyone who has been really invested in my hole lately, my backyard hole, um, I appreciate you. It's coming along. We just yeah. got the deck done today. Anyway, this has nothing to do with it. Um, Liz is a great time. So fun. We're partying. It's yeah. a great wedding. It's amazing. They got us a hotel room <gasps> in, so nice. in the hotel which was where the wedding was and so we went put our stuff back and then I was like exhausted Mm -hmm. and so I went to say goodbye to the couple like hey enjoy the rest of your night I go to hug the bride she hugs me we touch heads her dress pops (gasps) her strap of her dress splits in two (gasps) at the top and we just stand there and we're like That didn't just happen. Oh. That did not just happen. (laughs) No. And so 
I like step away and I'm just holding her dress together. She's drunk at this point right. in time. And she's like, whatever. And she just walks away and she, everyone's <laughs> like, your boob. And she goes, there's no nipple. And there's it's just, <laughs> like the, it's just the cover. I just bought it. some nippies. Yeah. I can't wait to wear them. And then, um, her lovely, lovely groom came back with a safety pin and I, <gasps> I fixed her dress. But I was like, there's no way this fucking happened that I just split her dress oh, well, open. The dress, it was the dress's fault. It was the dress's fault. <laughs> you. Um, yeah. You imagine if you were that powerful that when you touch fabric, it just rips apart. I'm, I was like, damn, am I like a panty dropper? <laughs> like, I just touch people and their clothes, their clothes come off. Pop off. <laughs> Oh my god! I felt so powerful, um, but yeah, I feel like a good transition mm-hmm. to today's episode, please, is the scandal that I was told <gasps> by the DJ at this wedding. You've been wanting to tell me this. But I you have couldn't. been wanting to tell you oh, this. I can't it's wait. a bit true, crimey as well. Okay, I feel a little strange about telling it, but if this were submitted to us, I feel like it would be the same kind of thing. It was yes. just verbally told to me. So okay, okay. okay. So, yeah, because when Liz came out, we were standing right outside where the ceremony was. The DJ was there and he looked at me and was like, are you more popular than the bride? And I'm like, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. And so Shane was like, no, she has a podcast, blah, 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 blah. So at dinner, the vendors are eating together. So it's me, the DJ, the photo booth guy and Shane. Mm. And he's like, so what's your podcast about? And I'm like, um, <laughs> that is one of the hardest questions it's we so get. It's so hard. Because, because I'm we like, can't just be like true crime or mental health it's, or funny comedy because yeah. it's it's so many things. I was like, I well, uh, and so I know my, nor, my go-to is either friendship without connect or yeah. without interaction, just like bringing community to people or normalizing um, the human experience. Yes. Yep. Yes. He said, well, if you ever want to do a wedding vendor episode Mm -hmm. i have stories for you and i'm like oh we've already done like a wedding horror stories thing but you know we always do scandal episodes and people will send those in for that so he says i have one for you he says at the end of this wedding um everyone is dancing partying and it's like the end of the night and the the maid of honor i think he said left the dance floor went outside she was secretly dating the bride's ex. Hang on. The, the maid of honor was? Yes. Oh, my God. And now, if you know these people, I'm so sorry if <laughs> no, I'm, butchering this, <laughs> I'm butchering this story. This is like a telephone situation from yeah. a person. So anyway, um, she went outside to... She had brought the ex. Who is this? The maid of honor? Yes. To the <gasps> wedding. Ooh. It was like keeping it hush hush for everyone the whole time. And then the couple found out. <gasps> and now, because this is the DJ's perspective, yeah. he doesn't really know what's going on because right. he's inside tearing down, getting ready to go. Right. But he hears a huge crash. <gasps> he hears, I'm going to kill you. Oh, my God. And then... Sirens, <gasps> which I thought I just heard. That was fucking weird. Did you hear yes. it? Yes. Okay. Um. Oh my there god! There are it sirens. Is. That's wild. That- <laughs> That's wild. None of this is real. None Simulation. of this is real. Simulation. <laughs> Remind me, I have something to tell you about that as well. Okay. Um. So anyway, he goes to leave, and the cop is like, "Where are you going?" And he goes, "Home." And he goes, "You're not going anywhere. This is an active crime scene." <gasps> And he's like, um, I didn't see anything. He goes, it doesn't matter. I guess what happened is the groom said to the maid of honor, I'm going to kill you. There was like obviously a scuffle that happened before that. Threw her through a window. <gasps> she fell like two floors. Oh, my God. She lived. <sighs> he went to jail for I. I think a very long time. He just got out, actually. Jesus. I don't know who these people are, and now I'm scared that I even told the story. <laughs> but the DJ told me that, and he's yeah. like, I was pissed because I had to stay there <laughs> until four in the morning. And I told the mother of the groom that he, you got to pay me if you're still on the <laughs> clock. And she goes, do you realize what I'm going through right now? And he's like, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, that was his fault, though. Not I, the DJ, but the no, groom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. What a fucking. I Let know. me tell you, I've seen. Now, this is why. That's terrifying. Whenever we talk to our vendor about. We did find a place. I don't know if I said this before mm-hmm. to get married, but <clears throat> they were basically like, you can't really have liquor. It's basically like a beer and wine situation. And I was yep. like, I'm totally fine with that because I feel like weddings a lot of times when there's that much alcohol in mm-hmm. the mix towards the end, I've seen some shit go down yeah. at weddings. People like, were cut off at my wedding. And I hope that people are at mine as well because <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be like, if there's anyone acting a fool, I straight up am going to yeah. like employ the brothers of, you know, the Oh, yep. A, our bridal party to be bouncers and be like, hey, yeah. if that person's out of line, <laughs> goodbye, get the fuck out. And they get on a power like, trip about it. <laughs> honestly, I hope they do. <laughs> yeah. Just start kicking people out. Yeah. I'm like, that's my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, get it under control. <laughs> They're like, sorry, she was throwing fists on the dance floor. <laughs> Shoddy was making it clap too loud. <laughs> we had to kick her out. <laughs> she gotta go. Uh, oh. oh, my God. Well, that's Anyway, crazy. isn't that like... Wild. That's like scandal, scandal. Yeah, it is. Do yeah. you do you said you had another story? It well, it wasn't necessarily of... a story. It was more of um, a conspiracy theory that I've developed. Okay, about the simulation. Okay, and eyesight. Okay, I think that if you have poor eyesight, mm. it's not so much that your vision is bad; it's that you have a lower resolution in the simulation so your viewing of the simulation is more pixelated oh my god i can't even get that fucking right (laughs) that's my guess that's fair and so like lasik or like corrective lenses or contacts or anything is just um a tool to help uh up your resolution to be able to see the simulation incredible like with more pixels that's cool that's cool i like that i don't know a whole lot about technology so um uh, it weigh in in the comments weigh in in the comments below how, how wrong is she <laughs> <laughs> what's your prescription <laughs> and your social security number <laughs> give us your credit card information <laughs> below and your mother's maiden name <laughs> hey hey what's the street you grew up on leave it in the comments below your first pet <laughs> Your favorite teacher. <laughs> oh, my God. Now I'm just realizing how many people can use what we said. <laughs> I know. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but some of the stuff that I know that we've used for things. I make shit up. <laughs> I'm just a big fat liar over here. <laughs> big fucking liar. <laughs> You'll never know with a bitch. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's do this. We got some goodies. Like I say, every single time. My goodies? Not my goodies. Oh. You want to pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a what? All I need is me a shoe shepherd of how. What is that? That's Petey Pablo. Oh, I was singing. My goodies. He's in that. Petey Pablo? Yeah. Can we talk about that name? I like it. <laughs> I think, is a Pablo like a pepper? Or am I thinking Pablano? <laughs> is <laughs> that a mushroom? No, it's a pepper, remember? You know, Hello Fresh Meals, Pork Pablano Tacos. Oh. They're my fucking favorite. Oh God, they're good. You know, I um, like the ones with um, what's it called? Pineapple. I just had one of those the other day. I like the pork ones better. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Disclaimer: Pee pee in places pee pee should not be. (laughs) Okay. For this first urine, I think actual pee pee, but also urine. Oh, like both private parts. Yep. (gasps) Is that what pee pee stands for? Oh my fucking god! I think it is. Wow! wow. It doesn't seem as childish now. No. Can I tell you? I'm going to tell you something after the podcast. Remind me. Not right now. Nope. Why? I just don't know how people will receive. It. I was going to say I could take it out. Remind well, after me. after the after Tuesday's episode where I fucking muted. <laughs> parts accidentally you want to talk about simulation how many people were messaging me and were just like hey i don't know if you know this but there's like parts where you're just talking to yourself (laughs) i was just like am i fucking no that was my biggest fear is like none of this is real it's just me and i've uploaded multiple episodes of the podcast (laughs) of me just saying yep yes okay (laughs) i will tell you what happened what happened is so our audio of just sierra and i recorded separately from the audio that uh, Reggie's audio essentially but Reggie's audio also had us talking mm. so if I didn't perfectly link up our speech with Reggie's yeah uh copy of our speech then there was like this weird echo and I knew it was going to be very distracting and annoying so I had to go through and any time 
we would switch from us speaking to Reggie speaking. I had to mute cut it. it and mute the other one. Mm. And there was three parts, three, three to five. Honestly, our family's not good with numbers, as you can <laughs> tell. Um, parts where I muted Reggie where he should have been talking or I muted us where we should have been talking. Got and, it. Yeah. And it was uh, threw me into a panic attack, uh, a yeah. big old, big old panic attack all day, which I, I haven't so had bad in a long because time. It was the day that I was leaving, too. So you told me and I was like, I, I literally don't know what I could do for yeah. you. I, I mean, I, even if you were here, you couldn't, couldn't have done, done anything done anyway. No. But yeah, be there for moral support. Yeah, that's fine. I <laughs> I went to therapy again. I'm going back to therapy. I feel like we should talk about this in the exclusive. We will. We'll, we'll like unpack more. Yeah, OK. OK, right. sorry. Sounds good. PP places. PP should not be. <laughs> okay. Pronouns are she, her. Okay. A couple years ago, my dad was dating his flavor of the month. Mm. Some lady who had a cottage and two sons. Her name escapes me as I've met many a lady and many a sons. <laughs> I do remember what happened the first night I stayed at said cottage, though. First setup, setting, staying at the cottage was my dad, his girlfriend, me, her two sons, and one of the sons' girlfriends. Okay. Okay. I was staying in one of the upstairs rooms, and one of the sons was staying in the other with his girlfriend. I'll call him Steve so we don't confu- get confusing son 11 teen times. Okay. Prior to sleepy time, I was warned not to shut the bedroom door all the way as there was something wrong with the latch and I might get stuck in the room. Ooh, that's a huge fear of mine. Right? It's 1 a.m. I'm sleeping peacefully in my undies when all of a sudden Steve shuffles in the room and shuts the door. I panic and play dead. I'm squinting <gasps> in the darkness and I realize he's bloody naked, like balls to the wind naked. At this point, I'm wondering if I should scream for help or if I've missed something and I'm on impractical jokers. He shuffles over to the closet and opens the door and just stands there. At this point, I realize he must be sleepwalking. (gasps) I'm waiting for I don't know what when I hear his pee stream. I guess the closet was the bathroom in his dreams. Oh, no. He finishes up and then gets into bed with me. Oh, no. (laughs) Mind you, his girlfriend is in the other room. Heaven forbid she walk in right now and see me in in bed with her naked boyfriend. Well, you're trapped in there. I know. It doesn't matter. At this point, I knew being dead wasn't going to work anymore. (laughs) So I start shaking him, telling him to wake up. How awkward. That's the first time they're meeting, by the way, this night. I want to know how old they are. I, uh, I wish I knew. They got to be older. He wakes up confused as hell and I tell him he's in the wrong room. I guess he realized he's naked because he jumps up and pulls on my jeans that I left on the floor (laughs) inside out and and then realizes we're locked in together. It took him five minutes of jiggling the door handle and apologizing profusely to me. I didn't tell him about the pee and he eventually got it open and went back to his room. Now I'm left with a closet full of pee and no (laughs) pants. (laughs) He took the pants. <laughs> He's wearing them. Back. Oh my god! I debate just because he must have thought, "Oh, I dropped my pants off here." He probably. Uh, <laughs> I debate just pretending it didn't happen. But hell, if I was going to let my dad's new girlfriend think I pissed in her closet. <laughs> <laughs> So I went downstairs where she and the other son were still up vibing and told them what happened. I think th- a lot of people are drinking here, so, so I think they're all like older. Okay, okay, okay good. Um, They laughed hysterically and eventually I started to see the humor in it and joined in. I told her I was just going to pretend it didn't happen, but I didn't want to clean up his pee and he still had my (laughs) jeans. (laughs) Too bad I chose to play dead and not yell at him in the beginning. Oh, well, love you, ladies. (laughs) I started the font reading response that. really did you dirty there. <laughs> Fucking A. I started reading that. And I was like, there's no way I'm putting this in because I thought it was going to take a turn. And then I was like, oh, this is actually <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah. That That's the funny. best way that story could have turned out. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I'm sure in the moment you're just like, oh, what the fuck? I've literally been in situations like that where in my head I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What do I <laughs> yeah, do? What I'm do asleep, I do? I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Do I do? Yeah. Oh, my God hilarious although like if you just made them aware that you weren't asleep yeah. whatever the fuck was happening probably would have stopped <laughs> right. instead you made yourself continue to endure but something she doesn't know no, no no no. i mean us oh yeah in the scenarios that we are reflecting yeah. back on yeah yep i was i was definitely a fawner or a freezer sometimes both and then i yeah. would be like hey why did that happen oh, what? i'm because... a chili fawn just a freezy little fawn I'm just a freezy little deer <laughs> Just a little freeze a little fun. <laughs> okay, the next one. 
Hi, ladies. I just finished the Faith episode and was reminded of my love. Oh, you ready to get mad? This one we might get mad. Oh. And was reminded of my lovely health classes. I have two scandals, so I'll try to keep them quick. My sex ed was all abstinence based. That doesn't fucking Amazing. work, by the way. Pause. Before the story continues, you just reminded me. I saw a TikTok. Oh. I don't know if I saved it on ours or not, okay. um, but it was, uh, I think it was like, I think her TikTok is like the girl in the wheelchair or something like that. And it's the TikTok was uh, weird things people have said to me um, about being in a wheelchair. Yeah. She said when she was 10 years old, right after her accident yeah. that left her paralyzed and needing to have a wheelchair for the rest of her life, she went to church and the pastor came up to her and was like, stand. <laughs> the Lord compels you to stand. No. And like, He's telling her that if she just believes that he will heal her and she will be able to walk. And she's like, after 15 minutes of an entire congregation yelling, like yelling at me to stand. <laughs> oh my God, no. They finally just stopped. And I was You're just sitting there. Away. Yeah. That's the saddest shit and I've then, ever heard. And then she heard, this is also going to make you mad. She heard the pastor saying to someone that it must have been a punishment. <gasps> And it, it was, you know, if the fact that she couldn't stand or didn't stand um, was because God was punishing her and didn't want her to stand. Oh, you know, all those Jesus coming in our mouth jokes. <laughs> yep. made? This is why I feel OK doing this. <laughs> yeah, same, because same. God damn it. Yeah. God damn it. If that's your religion of choice. Great on you. But for us, it's done some real fucking fucky things. And you know what? I posted that TikTok. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, go to our TikTok and watch it. It's a it was part of the exclusive episode where we talked about uh, Catholicism and yeah. a, a part of the script, and people knew exactly what part mm -hmm. I was talking about. They wrote they wrote the line in yep. comments, and I'm yep. like, okay, I obviously wasn't that fucking far off talking about him coming in my mouth. If you knew exactly <laughs> which part of that hour long <laughs> script I was talking about, that's fucking wild. Anyway, sorry, I'm ready to get mad for this one now. Oh, you're going to. Okay, my sex ed was all abstinence-based, and until your 10th grade class, boys and girls were separated. Mm. Every year, the school would bring this guy in who was a born-again virgin. He would talk about how abstinence hey. saved his life and blah, blah, blah. It's not a thing. It's not a fucking First thing. First of all, virginity is not a thing. That's, not, that's a social construct that's not even a fucking thing It's made thing up. I mean, everything's all. made up, but... It's made up to shame women, yes. specifically, but yes. yes. Um, young girls, I think. Now, born-again virgin, I would buy... If he physically I'm a died and rose from the dead. <laughs> I'm a born again virgin every time I get done. I get done and I'm like, oh, sealed right up again. <laughs> Next born time again. it's going to feel like the first time. <laughs> and it always does, baby. Yep. It always does. Okay, so he would do this activity where he would bring six students up and give them a glass of water and oh, some Oreos. I hate that. Okay, he would tell them to chew the Oreos but not swallow, then take a sip of water. Again, no swallowing. Then he would have them spit whatever they had back in the cup and pass it to the next person. Finally, he would tell them that the next person to drink from their new cup. And of <gasps> course, people were like, ew, so they wouldn't do it. And then that was the whole lesson, right? Oh. So cue his talk about this is what it's like if you have sex with more than one person. No, that's not that's not true. No, at all. Unless it's in the same night and then get it, friend. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking do the <this> shit. <laughs> Anyways. Well, in 10th grade, when it was deemed acceptable to have boys and girls in the same class, our born again virgin came back. At this point, we all knew what his thing was. So people were really just in it for the snacks. Because <laughs> he's giving people yes. warriors. My friends. Oh, she gives names. I'm going to say it. Harrison and Angie volunteered to go up and go through the whole song and dance. But I when, hope they drank each other's stuff. But when the group passed their cups down the line and were told to drink, they both just shotgun that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Slam the cup down <laughs> on the desk. <laughs> Suffice to High say, five. <laughs> that man was scarred for life. Hell yeah. A few like, years later, I was talking with my brothers, one older and one younger, and about school and this dude come to find out they had no idea who i was talking about turns out they only brought him in for the girls classes <gasps> and the 10th grade one which makes sense because my brothers took that class online then uh-huh that's what again the fact that it's mostly girls that are ashamed yeah. for the whole virginity thing they don't teach this shit to boys yeah. at all 
it's like not a thing. It's like, well, don't be with a woman if she's not a virgin. But yeah. also, nobody really fucking says it to you. You can be born again. Yeah. no one's going to be able to tell. No, no. And nobody can really tell with girls. Because guess what? Truly. I'm pretty sure I popped that shit on my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I rode a horse. <laughs> It was great. I marked that horse with my blood. (laughs) (laughs) It was like Simba. (laughs) (laughs) I got off I got off that saddle and I was like Simba. (laughs) (laughs) Um on a brighter note, my seventh grade health teacher was a fucking rock star. On the last this is a this is a good one. On the last day of health class, she wheeled in the basketball rack in the box of condoms. Every girl in that class was able to put a regular size condom fully onto a basketball. After which my teacher said, now if any man tries to tell you he's too big to wear a condom, you know he's a liar. To this day, I don't think any, anyone who wasn't in her health class knows about the basketball condoms. Thank you, ladies, for all you do and for being my gym buddies every Tuesday. You Aww. really help drown out the noise of unnecessary man grunts. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're so fucking welcome. Yeah. Oh my god, never have I felt like I've done a, a service. <laughs> yeah, that is the that. Lord's work we're doing. <laughs> um, isn't that basketball thing incredible? I love that. I did not know a condom could stretch that much. I've, I've saw a TikTok of a girl who puts it on her full fucking leg, and she's a, a regular size one without it breaking. And she's like, "Tell me you're too big again, because <laughs> get oh. the fuck out of here." Oh my god! Yeah, I have not used condoms in so long that I don't even know. I just did recently. Well, I mean, what seven months ago? We had yeah. to after the baby was born, and I was like, "This shit is for the fucking birds." <laughs> but no, safe sex. No, do it. Y- use it until you don't have to, and then that shit feels <laughs> mint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be buzzing, <laughs> buzzing, 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 and buzzing. <laughs> That's all I know. But yeah. But it was so nice because like uh, Corey was not, it was not even a. Are we still talking about condoms? Yeah. Okay. Whenever we, he, we had to use them again yeah. because it was like, hey, I know there are people out there who are like, I'll just, I'll pull out. Don't even worry about it. Mm. But I was like, hey, I am not getting fucking pregnant again this soon yeah. after we just had a baby. I know I'm breastfeeding. And he was like, no, no, I'll buy like four fucking packs. Don't even worry. <laughs> don't even worry about yeah. it. And I was like, good. Good on you. Yeah. I was on birth control for a little bit after ollie and it fucked with me major Mm -hmm. i couldn't get on it until like um i want to say january or february so that's why maybe it was december but either way why just i had to go to planned parenthood because my place oh oh oh, oh, yeah yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. have the kind that i wanted yeah um it was because if you're breastfeeding you have to have a specific kind yep um yeah, it fucked with me big time and i'm like i'm not taking this anymore Mm -hmm. we we can have condoms or we can um do like planned yeah, whatever yeah. we can track my cycle turns out i'm butt shit at tracking my cycle <laughs> and then forced and that's forced. how we have forced so <laughs> but then i was like i'm also not getting back on anything so get because, a fucking vasectomy yeah i told yeah. Corey that once this is i go a few years into this if we decide not that we're done i'm like you're getting that shit snipped i'm, I'm done a- i've done my fucking time truly, with birth control truly i'm so grateful that shane did that yeah because I am a weak ass bitch. Mm-hmm. And at this point, Sawyer is killing me. Yeah. Because I'm like, I fucking want I a baby. I, she kills me. I'm, I look at Corey and I'm like, maybe one more. And I'm so happy there's something planted in my uterus that I can't just easily take yes, out. Yes. Or skip. I look at her and I'm like, oh. I know. I was, oh, oh my God. So I was cute. holding her Sunday when we had our family <laughs> thing. And I was like, Shane. I started Googling how much it costs to reverse a vasectomy. And he's like, Jerry, no. No. She doesn't sleep. I know. So well, we were babysitting my nephew a couple days yeah. a week. And I was like. Three kids is vastly different. So different. You're outnumbered. I'm, like, I'm good. Yeah. I'm actually good. And that's two. what my dad always said. He was like, two was one thing, but then you get outnumbered. And three is a lot. He's got five I- now. So what? <laughs> he has no fucking clue what he's talking he, about. He talked about it with the the last set. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. um, me and my sister were the first set. Oh, he didn't mean you. <laughs> no, nope. yeah. he meant the third on the second set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should have known. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. Hey, ladies. This is honestly the wildest thing I have ever experienced in my life. And honestly, just one extended fever dream of a funny story. So in college, this is wild to me. I was part of a maritime search and rescue team. So it's basically we were an like unpaid. A, like a ship. Lesser trained version of the Coast Guard. Yeah. So unpaid. they're like on lakes and stuff. Yeah. 
and you're these just are in just it for co- the tea. <laughs> these are just call, but they're just making these college kids do this shit. Well, they're volunteering, M- probably, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking because I think about it to this day. Is who the fuck decided it was a good idea to let college students get involved in emergency services and saving people's lives? The team was created in the 1970s. If that provides any explanation, it although does. yes, although I have countless stories from this team, there is one that obnoxiously sticks out in my head. To set the scene, I was a freshman when this happened. AKA, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. It would just take orders from the seniors. So one school night around 8 p.m., we get a call for a boat that was aground. So um, it's like on land. It's beached. Yeah. <laughs> Beach boat. <laughs> At a sand key. And by the way, any call that comes in after 8 p.m. on a weeknight, you already know some fuck shit is about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> one of our boats, one of our other boats was already there and they had requested backup for this case, probably because the boat just wasn't just a little aground. No, nah, I'm talking high and dry, 20 feet away from the shoreline. So there was no the way. the fuck <laughs> did it get there? You'll find out. So there was no way in how we could get their boat back in the water. The goal then became to just transport everyone on the boat and take them home. One small issue, though. Every person was blackout drunk. Like, so drunk they probably had no idea their boat wasn't even in the fucking water anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> we sent one of our people to their boat, and she found a scene straight out of a nightmare. Some people were just KO'd on the floor, and then two or three people who were running around butt-ass naked. <gasps> not a sober soul in sight. Again, keep in mind, we are literally just a group of basically 18 to 22 year old kids who all still have homework to do. So we just wanted to get out of there ASAP. And now we had to somehow transport these people from their boat through the surf line where there was two to three foot waves crashing on the beach all the way to our boat in the dark of night. And this is where it gets worse. Earlier that day, our boat ladder had broken. So we realized we were going to have to literally haul these people over the side of our boat to get them in. And they were maniacally drunk. So my friend commands all of the naked ones to clothe themselves (laughs) and then starts walking with them through the waves one by one to our boat. Oh, my God. To loft them in, we had to use this fun little tool that we call a mega mover. So basically, just imagine a large piece of rectangle tarp with multiple fabric handles on the two long sides. In trying to explain to super drunk people how we were going to lift them into the boat, because it's, it's like, like a hammock, we explained that we were going to lift them into our boat, kind of like how they lift manatees into boats on TV. <laughs> Big fucking mistake. As we are hauling the last lady in, she screams at the top of her lungs, I'm a fucking manatee. <laughs> Like a fucking rooster crowing at daybreak. I have never, ever tried harder at holding my laughter in as I did that night because, you know, professionalism. And just to make this whole shit show 10 times worse, as we were finally driving these people back to land, one of the other drunk ladies asked my friends if it would be okay if she could free bleed on her seat because her tampon fell out. (laughs) She swiftly told her. Fuck no. And we dropped these people off and also called the police on them because the driver was drunk too. Right. And which is probably ne- how your fucking yeah. boat ended up <laughs> 20 feet from shore. <laughs> and then we never saw them again. To this day, I still cannot believe I experienced this. Oh I would my be that God. drunk bitch. I was like, I'm a fucking manatee. <laughs> <laughs> Lift me up. <laughs> I'd be on the boat going, oh me, <laughs> like, like the river, river Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> and now and then Sadie, and then oh, and then one of us would free Willie <laughs> off of it, and then they'd have to get us back in the boat again. That's <laughs> why we don't drink together. I've been out in public <laughs> in water because we're also really bad. I think you and I are very um, what's that word called? Uh, um, bad influences on each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd say, I'd say. That's like um, keep going, keep going. Keep yeah, going. I mean, how far can okay, we push this shit? We got drunk together. One time that I can remember. And it, that is how we ended up walking a mile to Sheets. I peed in front of a cop. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think it, it was, was longer than a mile. In public. <laughs> Let me figure out what that distance is. I was is. pissing on the side of the road just out and it was like two in the morning. So there were no cars. And then one car goes by and I was like, what are the odds that it's a fucking cop? Relax, guys. And it was a fucking cop. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that was after we got into someone's boat. We did get into someone's boat on land. <laughs> on <laughs> on land. It was in their front yard. Yeah. Don't put your boat in your front yard if, if you, you don't, don't want me to get in it. <laughs> if you don't want me to be the captain of your, <laughs> your, your fucking ship. Yeah. That okay. was a fun night. If you don't want me behind your helm. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. It's almost two miles. Shut up. Yeah. I need that kind of yeah. exercise in my life. It's almost two miles that we walked. <laughs> in the and then it started raining. We got oh, to yeah, sheets dude, and I had to pee. I fucking love walking when I'm drunk. I I had to pee and I remember going to the bathroom and I I, I was wet and I go when did it rain? <laughs> when <laughs> when I was it raining. <laughs> Do you remember how we got home? No. I called my cousin. Oh, she that's picked good. us up because my feet were bleeding. <laughs> they were. With this, keep in mind, we were also out like dancing, so we were not in like tennis shoes. We should not no. have been walking in those shoes. No. I think there's one photo of us, and it's just blue. <laughs> <laughs> you can barely make out our faces, dude. That place was so fucking I fun. Know. That was the, the night, best though, and worst times of my life. I was gonna say that was the night that you connected with your abuser. <sighs> No, it was no. the best of times. It was the worst of times. <laughs> so fun. You know, it's like bad connections. <laughs> that was that time I drank the shit that made my shit blue. <laughs> you pooped blue? Yeah. So the drink that I drank had like. I've been pooping blue for days. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. I'm so sorry. Do it harder. <laughs> harder? Because I've been pooping blue for days. Now you're underwater. <laughs> you got any other ones for me? No. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to think, but I can't. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay. We have so many good ones. I gotta get through. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. We just uh, haven't really spoken I'm in so a while, wrong. and because we had like Reggie on last week, I feel yeah, like yeah, we gotta get yeah. We we didn't have a whole lot of like story get time our in there. In. Yeah, our freaking hot yeah. band. Which thank you again, Reggie, for coming on. I, I doubt that you're <gasps> so listening good. to this one, but if you did, that was that was really insightful. Yeah. And um, to those of you who actually got to listen to all of it, <laughs> great. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> great. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, you ladies. My name is Jacob. He him. Oh, I love this. He, is him, Jacob? They, them. Jacob, I Jacob? I don't know if okay. it's that Jacob. Recently sent in a story about my grandpa's accidental at-home vasectomy. Jacob, I couldn't find that one. I looked so <laughs> hard for it, so I'm going to keep looking. But thought about What a title. It. I know, but I thought about another story to tell. More so a ghost story, but a story all the same. So my grandmother died a couple months before I graduated high school. Lovely lady that had been through multiple abusive relationships and was a drug counselor for teens and young adults when she was younger. Loved her so much and was devastated when she died. Fast forward three years to my 21st birthday. By the way, I was reading this one to Corey. And when I said my grandmother died a couple months before I graduated high school, he, he got excited. He goes, oh, me too. <laughs> same. His grandma did too. Literally a couple months before Aww. I graduated. Yeah. So you guys have that connection. <laughs> yeah. Fast forward. Dead Grandma Club. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Squ on it. Squat, Squat up. <laughs> Fast forward three years to my 21st birthday. I was awake well into the late, late night of September 26th going into my birthday on the 27th. Now I live with my sister, her husband, and at the time her only son aged three or four. This is a surprise tool that will help us later, <laughs> says okay. in parentheses. So anyways, like I said, I'm up in the middle of the night. Everyone else is asleep and has been for several hours. As soon as the clock strikes, strikes midnight, I hear a toy from my nephew's room going off. Now, this was a toy that was like a small table with a bunch of activity things for a small child to do. Got it. One of the activities would play a different song as like a piano music box kind of style, like most creepy children toys do in a cycle of like five songs. Yep. Now imagine my surprise when at midnight, the night of my birthday, this toy starts going off in my sleeping nephew's room playing happy birthday. <gasps> I know. I have goose pimps. Oh my gosh. I know. I, being a little bitch and thinking it's a crazed murderer or a ghost, decide to slowly walk into his room to see what's making the noise. Nephew was indeed asleep and the noise had stopped, so I didn't know what was making the noise. I go to lay back down and as soon as I'm back under my covers, the song starts back up. This time I go in to inspect a little quicker and see the toy lighting up and playing happy birthday. I crouch down and see if I can turn it off, only to find that it was already turned off and was far enough from everything else that nothing could have messed with it. I have goosebumps on my fucking legs. 
I can only assume that our grandmother was wishing me a happy birthday on my 21st. I'm going to start crying. Holy fuck. And decided to scare the shit out of me doing it, seeing as the noises went on for a good 30 minutes Aww. with no explanation. Love you lots and hope y'all are staying happy and healthy. Wow. That I is a know. vastly different story than the v- accidental vasectomy, I'm sure. But wow. Yeah. That's so cool. So cool. I was, I was like... That one got me the first time, the second time, and the third time I read because I read it out loud to Corey. I'm like, yeah. you got to fucking hear this story. Wow. I know. And she was I, like, uh, I don't know if you heard it the first time. I'm going to play it for 30 minutes <laughs> so that yeah. you fucking really get what I'm trying to say Happy to you. Happy birthday, <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> Can you imagine a children's story? That's like <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. I get Beautiful. like I get sad sometimes thinking about that and wanting like ghosty things to happen because mm-hmm. I want to like connect. I'm with like, people. hey, why the fuck don't you haunt me, Grandma? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling insecure about the lack of haunting I'm experiencing. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah, tell me happy birthday. Yeah. Although I've had dreams before, not with our grandma, but with my aunt, uh-huh. where it's like I literally know that it wasn't a dream because it felt Same. so. Like, it was like I was dreaming, and then all of a sudden I wasn't. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is happening here? And then she was there, and I was like, this is not a dream. Yes. Like, crazy. No, I've had that with both our grandma and my other grandma. Really? I might yeah. have had it with our grandma, but I don't remember it as well as I remember. But grandma! I do smell grandma a lot. I smell in her a lot. In random places, and yeah. I'm like, that's got to be her. Mm-hmm. I have had dreams where... um but she's always just kind of like fucking chill in my dreams or she that. like I'm trying to get her to talk and she's just like I got nothing I got nothing I feel like they don't talk much my aunt had nothing she didn't say anything but she grabbed me by my cheeks like mm. this and she just smiled really big and she laughed and her laugh is very like why did I think that was creepy <laughs> no I was no, like ah, don't do that <laughs> she just ah. smiles really slowly <laughs> don't no. that makes me scared <laughs> no she grabbed my cheeks like this and just like <laughs> 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 no, she smiled and like she like rubbed my cheek like that. She then she fucking punched me. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> "Fuck you!" <laughs> Bitch slapped me. I don't anyway. remember if she said anything, but I I don't remember. I, if it was, it wasn't a lot. Yeah, I can't make this meaningful right now because I'll cry. Okay. So that's why I'm trying to make it silly. silly. Gotta make it funny. <laughs> Do you guys want Dead Grandma's Club merch? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I feel like of. I want a sweatshirt that says Dead Grandma's we Club. We gotta both. We definitely have to both wear it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wear it to your grandma's funeral. <laughs> Be real. Uh, yeah. Get Dead Grandma's Club merch and then wear it and then tell us at her gravesite and then send us a picture. <laughs> Tag us in your in your funeral <laughs> selfies. Oh no. Okay, it's this is up. one of my favorite stories I've ever heard. Okay. Not really a scandal, more of a very weird thing that has happened. In the town I live in, Halloween isn't really celebrated because instead of everyone instead of celebrating Halloween, everyone celebrates Meatball Day. <laughs> Now, what is Meatball Day, you may be wondering. A few years ago, there was a mysterious appearance of meatballs everywhere in our town. I'm talking on the doorsteps, in mailboxes, in the exhaust pipes of cars, in schools, in the road, just everywhere. To this day, no one knows who did it, but someone the night before Halloween spread meatballs all over the place. (laughs) It's become a yearly thing. People only eat some form of meatballs for the whole day. Spaghetti and meatballs, meatball subs. Some people do pancakes and meatballs with syrup. It's actually pretty good. Oh, it's probably like sausage. (laughs) Okay. You're like thinking of marinara sauce on your pancakes. I did. I did go that route. Um, People will decorate their house with meatballs stuck on the bulbs of Christmas lights. (laughs) Instead of pumpkins, they just get like a bulb and they like form meat around it and then bake it. Instead of pumpkins on Halloween, you get a pile of meatballs, and kids will come to your house and get meatballs from parents. You just throw a meatball into some kid's bag. <laughs> what? what? It's terrifying, but so normal for us. I don't know if you're the meatball person. Please tell us where the fuck you are. I want to come. This is the meatball. This is actually Squidbillies. <laughs> Oh my god. He's <laughs> like, I just want you to say meatball that many times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just a prank to see how many times you can fucking say meatball. <laughs> yes. Fucking love that. Fuck, that's a wild story. It is. Okay, this might be my last. Okay. Potentially. If you want it to yeah, be. That's are fine. we are we at the I'm time? I'm sure we're fine. If not, I have more, but I just Yeah, I'm sure we're fine. Okay. 
What's up, ladies? It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> 22, yeah. she, her. I got to share this poop story because I've been inspired by you guys to do Aww. so. Yeah, thank you. I can't tell you how many people have reached out and they're like, it's a beautiful I thing. almost pooped myself and I thought of you. Mm-hmm. And like, I didn't feel bad about it because it felt like we're a part of something. Yep. I have another one I think that is going to be in the exclusive that it's basically like you were the first one that came, <laughs> but I'll read it later. I was the first one who came. You came Typical. first. Typical. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If I ain't coming, no one is. That's meatball what I day. Say. It's meatball day. <laughs> <laughs> I come here for comes meatballs. meatballs. Here comes meatballs. Right down meatball lane. <laughs> That's what I call my asshole. <laughs> <Meatball>. <laughs> we got marinara and the subs and syrup on your pinkies. <laughs> Meatball pumpkins, meatball light bulbs. <laughs> oh, so delicious. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Gra- <laughs> grab your bags and go door to door. We're yeah. putting meatballs <laughs> in all of them. This is fucking meatball day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> What's up, lady? It's Brittany, bitch. Okay, we're here. (laughs) I was working at Walmart and carpooling with my fiance, he, him, 23 at the time, and we got off at different times. So they're both at Walmart working, right? Okay. Uh So I got off work an hour before him, and I decided to buy us a super nice TV as a surprise. Mm. I loaded this big honking TV in the back of his truck and patiently waited for him to clock out. Then it happened. The subway I had for lunch, (laughs) the subway I had for lunch wanted revenge. I start blowing up his phone, asking if he can get off early and searching frantically for a trusted coworker to watch the TV so I could run it because it's out in, just in the in the oh, back of the truck. Oh, yeah. To watch the TV so I could run inside and release the foot long that needed to escape. <laughs> Jesus, the trapped foot long. <laughs> Losing hope and noticing many suspicious characters around the car, I was left with no choice. I started the truck and drove to the strip mall across the street, clenching my steering wheel and audibly screaming. <laughs> I've been there trying to avoid a second surprise for my fiance. <laughs> You're like, I bought you a TV. I also did shit in your truck. <laughs> so you couldn't fit the TV in like... In the truck, just that big is honking big. Okay, to be fair, like moving that TV, my poop would have just evacuated. It's just out. Yeah, I parked behind the strip mall and anxiously searched for something to wipe my ass, only finding the receipt for the TV. I sigh and brace myself against the curb behind a shoe store, (laughs) staring at my brand new TV and take a steamy shit. (laughs) (laughs) And then they put fire emoji. (laughs) humiliated but satisfied and surprised with how well the receipt cleaned my butthole (laughs) i pulled my pants up and pulled my pants up and drove back to work my fiance was pleasantly surprised with the precious gift i got us and i said i'm glad you like it hopefully we won't need to return it because there's no receipt (laughs) (laughs) and i did i can't i can't go back to that side of town no he didn't ask any questions, but to, d- to this day, when I look at that shoe store, I giggle. Thanks. Love you guys. Does he know? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, my God. That would have been the first thing I said. <laughs> yep. You're never going to believe the shit that I went through or I that feel- went through me in order to get you this TV. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what you know when you're in a comfortable relationship. Can you show them your fucking burnt asshole? Can you tell them a- that you shit your pants? What's the- is that the moral of this episode? Yeah. I that think so. Meatballs. Meatball day. It's <laughs> meatball day. Oh my god! Right. Please don't take my, my meatballs, meatballs away. away. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, fuck. That was fun. That was fun. Um, we're about to record an exclusive. We're gonna continue scandals. We're also like gonna do some more chit chat, catch up stuff. Catch up. <gasps> catch up. Put that on my meatballs. <laughs> Meatballs and ketchup. Meatballs and ketchup. Have you ever had meatballs dipped in ketchup? Not bad, but not good. It tastes like (laughs) just a hamburger. I was going to say, isn't that all it is? Yeah. Or like a meatloaf. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. To meatloaf? Yeah. The guy. Although I think he was also problematic. I mean, I don't want to revoke his R.I.P. because that feels rude. (laughs) No. (laughs) R.I.P. But also. Rest. 
please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get back up. <laughs> is all I'm trying to say. Anyway, fuck. Um, so if you want to hear more scandals or more of whatever the fuck is happening here, probably yes. more meatball songs. Yes. Um, you can find us at patreon.com slash ladies and tangents. Um, we appreciate everyone who has joined our, our sweet little family over there. Also. Okay. Sad Bitch Island is yeah. a thing. Yeah. yeah. Guess what I found out about? What? There's a place in Oregon called Disappointment Cove. <gasps> well, isn't that my new home? <laughs> <laughs> I know. So we got to go there. I'm adding that to Sad Bitch Island. I want Disappointment Cove I to like be a place on Sad Bitch Island. But yeah. it is a physical place that we could visit. I think we should. I think we should, too. Can um, I bring my bed? <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> and also your, your um, identification. <laughs> your driver's license. ID <laughs> number. <laughs> yeah. Please. Uh, and your favorite number. Okay. Um, <laughs> we love you guys so much. Thank you all for hanging out. We will see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye.